hey guys welcome back to my youtube channel tips by anil so in this video we will see how we can uh, create a power automate and pass parameter from power apps so if you will see here here i created this power apps and so suppose if i'll try to do some entry here okay and a date i will pass and once i will click on this call flow then you can see here is my power automate and see here 10 seconds ago the flow is completed and the entry should be added here see here you can see this entry so this entry we just added okay so we are passing this parameter uh, to the power automate okay so how we can achieve this let's get started and here this, this is the flow so i will remove from my app this flow and i will create a new flow okay create from blank Okay, so I will give it a name called MS Flow. And the next step will be we will initialize a variable. Okay, and see here. So suppose I will provide the name here. Okay, and here I will say name, and this will be a string and the value will be ask in power apps so whenever you will uh, click on ask in power, uh, power apps you can see name underscore value so the name whatever we have provided here that will take the same name okay so suppose if you will change anything variable okay, initialize the variable now i will make it a uh, city do we have city or country yeah country actually so suppose i'll do country country and this will be a string and ask in power apps okay now next is date of birth so again i will create a variable and here i will go and say a uh, 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 dov and here this will also be a string and here ask in power apps now the next step is we will create a item in sharepoint list okay and provide this path and here i will provide the list name employee detail list okay and here is name so the name will come up from the power apps and the country so i don't want to put these i want a custom value the custom value will come from the power apps these all are my variables okay and then here will be data worth the data worth You can see the same flow we have created over here okay all right so oh what i did data words okay now i will click on the save button 
Great. So here you can see this flow. I will just change a uh, call msflow dot run and great. So I will just run this application and Ram and Ram is from uh, India. And the date of birth will be, oh, I'll put anything and click on this call flow. Okay. And we will go in the history of the flow. And you can see the success. Okay, now I will go to the SharePoint list and you can see here the entry is added here. Okay, and this is the data part. See here what we have done. We have uh, called this flow call mslow.run and we pass this parameter from the Power Apps. One more thing that is very important to learn you, I'll show you, click on add it. So whenever you click on this add it, this workflow you can add it here. Okay. Now, suppose if I will, I will add a new entry here. Okay. As an action. initialize variable and suppose this initialize variable name i will put anything suppose city okay city now i will make it, it as a string and i'll click ask in power apps so the city value has been created over here but over the form, we don't have, you know, that city. We have been actually, this is the country. Okay. So, over the form, we don't have any city. But now, if I will save this flow and I will try to call this flow again, we will get there. Okay. See, the uh, request did not match as a schema. Okay. So the city value is not provided by this power apps. What happened? Here are four variables now name, country, city, and data word. But city we are not passing from the power apps. Now, if by mistake you have put it this city over here, what you will do? You will go and you will try to delete this city and click on save. And just go here and click on this call flow. And go here. And here we go. This is success. Okay. So what happened whenever you will add anything over here. Okay. The same thing you need to call over here. But you have to remove because so suppose I, I, i'll make that change again i'll show suppose if i will add that entry here again okay city okay and make it a string and here ask in power apps okay now if i will save it and go in power apps and here you can see we having name country data worth and the city okay and if i will try to call it You can see we cannot see any variable 
Okay, you can see here name, country, and date of birth. So for that, what I will do, I will copy it and I will remove this. Okay, and I will go here and add a flow. And here you can see we have been two flows here called MS flow. That flow has been added here. Okay, flow has been added. Now, if you will type the comma, you can see the city value. Okay, so suppose we will write city is Pune. Now it will work. So whenever you will click on this call now, okay, then it will work. All right. So hope you like this video. If you like this video, please subscribe my channel. Thanks for watching my video. Have a nice day. Bye bye.